In this second video in primary server availability series, I will show you how to create the primary server replica. Our appliances have been already connected and we are ready for replication. This is our environment with two flex appliances across uh, two sites. We begin on appliance A. There is already a primary server instance running. For the environments where we have more than one primary server, we need to note the ID and IP address of the instance to be replicated. To create the primary server replica, we switch to appliance B, a remote replication dashboard, and select Create in Create Replica Panel. At this point, we will be presented with a list of primary servers available for replication on appliance A. On the next screen, we fill in the required fields. It is conceivable to use the IP address already assigned to the replica source for the replica target. Keeping the same address may simplify the recovery procedure because no DNS record changes will be required. Once the replica creation process begins, we are taken to the Activity Monitor dashboard to view the progress. In our case, the entire procedure took less than two minutes. We can also verify successful replica creation on appliance A. Replication status can be obtained from the remote replication dashboard on either of the connected appliances. Here we can examine several replication status indicators such as data lag, time lag, and data status. Notice that replica creation was executed with the primary server still online. As I mentioned earlier, replication can be monitored on target or appliance B as well. And looking at system topology dashboard on appliance B, you will notice that replica is in offline status. As you can see, creating the replica consists of very few simple steps on flex appliances.